Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hi, welcome back, you dirty whores. Welcome back, you dirty hoes, to Coco's James, idle animations. James is playing now. Yeah, it's my turn. Elliot's. I'm so fucking done. <laughs> I am so fucking done. Mm, okay. Oh my god. Come on, Coco, do something. Jen, how done am I? Too done. Oh, don't tap your toe at me like fucking Sonic. Piece of shit. Meh. Meh. Anyways, alright. Let's see how I do on this level. I remember this level being really goddamn hard, too. Yeah. <sighs> Let's just say the way Elliot has been Dude. acting the past few episodes. When we get to the bridge levels... I have a story that'll get me hyped. Okay. Unless yeah. you have something to talk about. Nah, dude, go for it. Viewers and audience members, I have a story for you. The story of, um... Fuck. Probably the most cringiest moment. One of my most cringiest moments of my life. Okay. And do you know who the cause of the cringe was? Me. James... Here. What? Slick Frame. What? Slick Frame has had me at a level 10 cringe-induced moment. What did I do? Oh my god. All right. In <laughs> high school, we were both in band, which is how we met. And uh, we'd play at football games. We had to, right? Oh, is this Mr. Uh, or whatever? Well, yes. Yeah, censor that name. Okay. But... Oh, okay. Dude. Holy fucking shit. Okay. We're at this one high school game. Playing <laughs> fucking shit. Just hanging out. You know, it's normally a fun time. We're at like fucking three quarters. Uh, we, we always got the third quarter off, I think. Wasn't that right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, maybe. We'd get third quarter off so that we could like go and get food and shit. Okay. So... I was hanging out and James comes up to me. We're over like on the sidelines just hanging and I'm like, I don't know, eating some shit. When I spot none other than my sixth grade teacher, mm. Mr. B, right? Okay. Fucking Mr. B was the nicest dude. He was super cool, super chill. Um, I think he was like uh, pretty religious too, like pretty Christian dude. Uh, not, not that that was apparent in sixth grade, but I know he like taught some religious camp or some shit. Anyways... Okay. Fucking, so the dude is like really nice, but like, you know, kind of, kind of conservative, a little reserved in that sense, right? Okay. Um, but I mean, th this guy was awesome. I really looked up to this fucking guy. So I, I see him. I'm like, oh my gosh, Mr. B. Hey, I'm in like 11th grade at this point or something. I'm and like, I'm in 12th then. Yeah. Um, and I'm just hanging out. Uh, like James is like not with me, but he's near me. And I'm like, hi, Mr. B, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's great to see you. I don't think James knows who he is, uh, but I'm just trying to reconnect with this guy. So for all he knows, this could be like my friend's father or some shit. James the boy comes up <laughs> out of the blue, okay. puts his fucking arm around me, and he's like, you should see this dude now. This guy is crazy. This guy is crazy. He goes to these parties where like people do drugs and they like get naked and stuff. They get naked and they like dance all night and it's crazy. And this dude, this dude, he gets naked too, dude. And like, I don't know if you thought it was like funny, if you're trying to joke. I know you were talking about uh, S's house. S's house because they were crazy. They would get fucking naked and shit. Uh huh. <laughs> <clears throat> but that was because they were like fucking nuts. Yeah. But <laughs> Mr. B just has like this fucking dumbfound look on his face. Like he does not know what to do. He's like, um, <laughs> he immediately has this like, I do not want to be in this situation anymore. And he just wants to get the hell out of talking to me. And he's like, okay. And uh, and James just keeps going. He's I like, did? yeah, dude. And it was the weirdest fucking thing. And the whole time I was like, no, no more, please. No, no, really? stop. Yes. But James just kept going. And I will never fucking forget that shit. And it is fucking hilarious. But oh my God, that is the most cringe I've ever experienced in my life. I was just standing there like, no. No, James, please stop. No. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I, I confronted you about it afterwards. I was like, hey, man, that wasn't cool, blah, blah. But, yeah, I don't think I ever told you how cringy that was. I don't even remember. I mean, yeah, dude. It, it kind of maybe it's raised fucking about? hilarious. Oh, my God. Okay, I would never fucking do that today. Hilarious. I know, but it was great, dude. Uh, okay, well, yeah, I know you, you do love the cringe. I love the cringe. Okay. That is like the fucking king of cringe right there. That was amazing. I was the king of cringe right yeah, there. Yeah, you were, dude. Oh, uh, well, I guess, uh... Oh, I, my God. Call me your highness, bitch. Yeah, please subscribe for that one. You're the king of Kalidas, and yeah. I'm the king of cringe. Leave a comment of your cringiest moment ever. Please, oh. it will make my day. Or hit us up on Twitter, at Royal Goobs. 
Speaking of which, I'm trying to get our um, Facebook changed off of at Royal Goobs Official to oh, are you? at uh, Royal Goobs. So it'll be the same. Mm, okay. Uh, but I have to contact them. I deactivated my account, my Facebook account that was Royal Goobs. Remember how I fuck originally made it as like a um an admin thing? No, no, no. I like I made a person account, not a group account. Yeah. And then yeah, I made yeah. the yeah, yeah. So I deactivated that person account because that owned at Royal Goobs. Okay. So now I'm trying to. Oh, I see. Maybe okay. I shouldn't say that. Hopefully by the time this airs, I get that all sorted out so some motherfucker's not like, ha, I'm gonna take at Royal Goobs. Well, it's not like anybody really watches the show anyway, so True. it's probably not gonna happen, but you know what? <laughs> yeah, this this won't... <laughs> not to be a D-bag, it's, it's just the truth. Well, you know... Oh, it's okay, Elliot. I love our... Sh I watch our show. Yeah, we're in our show, man. <laughs> That's like saying... Like, you made a sex tape of you masturbating, and you fucking watch it. <laughs> um, um, okay, anyways, what I was gonna say was, um, what was I gonna say? I completely forgot. Yeah, dude, my, my Slick Frame Facebook account, I tried to make a personal Slick Frame page, too, but it keeps getting deactivated, because... Yeah, they, you, they think you're a bot. They think I'm a fucking bot. <laughs> so goddamn annoying. What, like, what this a, guy's too cringy. But you know what, this, this isn't like the... God damn it! Get fucked on, son. Um, but you know what? I'll, this isn't the most interesting subject, so I'll talk about it later. I'll tell, ask you about it off uh, screen. But uh, all right, here we go. That's Cortex's castle in the background. In case it's not, what the footage? Hell yeah! Seriously? Hell yeah! Dang it! Okay, here we go again. All right. All right. Now that Elliot doesn't have the controller, he's free to look at his phone. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to sort that out right now, so I don't forget. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can do that. Um, yeah, man, but no, that was the cringiest fucking thing I'm ever. I'm so sorry. I mean, I'm glad, hilarious. I'm glad you, you can laugh at it. That's oh, great. Yeah. But... Now I can never face that dude again in my life. No. <laughs> Whatever. Just I'll, because your I'll friend be like, was weird. Hi, he'll be like, oh. Yeah, but, but it wasn't my friend being weird. It was that you said that oh. I was getting naked and doing drugs and shit. Which I don't even fucking do. <laughs> I, I never fucking that? did drugs in high school. And I, like, never fucking got naked. That's why my name was the Untamable Stallion. Because oh. I was the only one who didn't get naked. What so you, the fuck? Yeah, you were trying to be funny or something. You, like, came up and put your arm around me. You are like, this dude. You, you were basically like, this dude fucks, man. <laughs> well, if I could go back in time right now, I would... Go right to that moment, slap myself in Dude, the face. Dude, I wouldn't. Like, that shit was hilarious, like, man. You shithead. Listen, James. Or maybe what I do, I'd be like, James, listen. If you continue saying what you're about to say, Elliot is gonna mention this a decade from now <laughs> on on your future YouTube show, and I'd be like, oh, we're gonna have a YouTube show? How many subscribers do we have? Uh, 120, and it hasn't increased in like several months. Get oh. Fucked. Okay. <laughs> yeah, boy. Nah, I, I, I don't mean to sound ungrateful. Yeah, we love you guys. Yeah. The two of you that watch currently. <laughs> hey, maybe, you know, maybe people are watching this years from now and we actually... We who made knows? It. Who knows where we this channel it. will be in the future? We who knows? We fucking made it. Regardless, I'm still having fun doing this. Just hanging out with my friend Elliot. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I love making it. No, dude, if back in high school when I first met you, if somebody told me... That years from now I'd be doing a YouTube show with you. After I, college, I would be well, <laughs> a long time from then. Still, I would be pretty psyched to hear about that. I'd be like, dude, sweet, I love Elliot. He's one of my favorite people. Fuck yeah. I'd be like, oh no, that guy just embarrassed the hell out of me at this football game. What's going on? <laughs> I'm kidding. What horrible cho life decisions will I make in the future? <laughs> <laughs> Borf. Uh. Good shit. You just turned to Swedish Chef for a sec. Bork, 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 bork. Little known fact, that's not actually Swedish he's speaking. He's just saying, Wait, that's not Swedish? No, apparently not. Oh my god. <laughs> See, dude, all it takes is, like, me not to play the boring game and for me to get on an Fuck. interesting topic. Then I get, like, psyched again. I was, like, fucking dead inside. You were dead inside. You were, like, just... <gasps> God damn it. Not having it. Well, I, luckily I've played through all these games, so I, I'm I'm interested to see how Spyro's gonna go. You know, like I, I'm still advertising our Spyro playthrough that'll come out soon. But no, I, I mean you've you you ha, you you've seen your friend play through them. I mean, not all the way. So, 
I played a lot of the second one. Okay, so you have a pretty decent amount of experience. Yes, and I played maybe half the first one myself. Okay. Because All right. I bought a PlayStation 1 in high school. So oh, I could you play did. Okay. Just for Spyro. I see. Okay. And so I could play um freaking Twisted Metal. Sweet. Yeah. Dude, Twisted Metal Twisted Metal for the PS3. Freaking love that game. Twisted Metal 4 was my jam. I think that was PlayStation 2. Oh, okay. <clears throat> that was quite fun. You know, it's funny, I, I never I never played the original, I mean, I guess not big surprise, I never owned a PlayStation as a kid. Um, I never played Twisted, the original Twisted Metal games. I, I never even touched the series until the, P, the PS3 one in college. Um, I played it with my friends, and we had a freaking blast. We would, we would wake up in the morning on Saturday, go to the buffet, eat some hash browns, and just eat, eat a nice breakfast, and then we'd go back to my place and play Twisted Metal, and that was awesome. Oh, hell yeah. And then we saw, oh, dude, the original Twisted Metal games, they're available on the PlayStation Network. We should try them. We bought the very first one. We turned it off after five minutes. Ha! Huh. Is that bad? <laughs> eh, we were just too just used to it. No, we were just too used to the modern controls. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they were good for the time. Oh, my though. God, you beat those fucking levels. Whew. Well, uh, next time on Royal Goobs, uh... We find out more cringy history between Elliot and James. Sure.